Buccaneers. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Buccaneer ball club. They come in on a pretty good roll here, winners of three straight. And going back through the tape, I thought they looked pretty good last week. It was a solid win, a comprehensive win. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, they have certainly got it rolling of late. Winners of six in a row. And it's simple. The more you win in the regular season, the more likely you play at home in the postseason, and that can take you deep into January. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. And if he and his guys want to spring the upset here in the second round and move on, they've got to focus on the good that they did in the wild-card victory. At the top of that list, protecting the football. Got a little careless last week. A few got away from him. Might not be so fortunate this time around. And if that's the case, they'll end up going home. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Hurt sets up to throw it. And that is incomplete. They were trying to liven up this playoff game very early on. Pretty deep throw, but good coverage. I think they were counting on the defenders being a little tight, a little over-anxious early, and trying to catch them flat-footed and get a big play. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fielded just inside the 30. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Tampa Bay coming out along with a man who needs no introduction, the great Tom Brady. Any more than did his part, the wild card win with three touchdown passes. Now, he's going to get a bigger test here in round two. But his unit is in rhythm, and they're playing as well as they have all year long. I wouldn't be surprised if this defense, though, tried to get after him early with a little extra pressure. If he can handle that, he can have another big game, though. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Fournette. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's Brady to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So Brady and the Bucs need to work a little magic third and long after that last sack. They'll look to throw. And this one hauled in by Rudolph. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. It's a 15-yard pickup, but it'll lead to a fourth down. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker, the defense almost relaxed and said, we've got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. And a great job on special teams to down it, as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And while they hope to continue this drive, it's really already mission accomplished. They've given enough space now that they have to punt the ball. They've done so with that first run. And he's going to get this from the 6 out to the 12. A pickup of 6 as they double their workspace. Oh 
Robinson will try to pick it up. And they're going to get the first down here as he's up to the 14. Well, Gardner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. First and ten, it's Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make it. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Shaquille Barrett from his outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And I would say they went three and out last time, but actually they didn't even get to three and out. Still a strange decision to us here in the booth. Yeah, let's hope they don't go one and out, but maybe, possibly, let's try and, try and think with them here. Try to play field position, maybe. Turn the ball over, put it in the hands of their defense. Who knows? You're a nice man. <laughs> at the tight end and he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play we're scoreless after one Brady now on first down and that one drops down incomplete Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Up the gun, Fournette. And some room to run now. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. It's a gain of 16, first down Tampa Bay. Here's Brady. Letting one go deep for the end zone. Godwin's got it. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A great effort there. 27 yards. And the Bucs are on the board first here in this division round matchup. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And that makes the score 7-0. Five plays there on that drive. And it's Chris Godwin who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Now it's Ryan Suckup on. After the touchdown to kick it away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far, as they try again with a first down now. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. Play action. Here's Hertz rolling to his right. 
And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. And cue the applause, and there it is for him. The mark he's been aiming for all season long. 1,000 yards. Just the third quarterback to reach that milestone, joining Lamar Jackson and Michael Vick. That's a season's worth of work and a huge commitment to get him the touches that he needed to make that happen. Congratulations. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They go play action with Hertz sliding out of the pocket. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Hurts. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Back to Robinson now on first down. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 46 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. From the gun, it's Hurts. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, congratulations to them. They come through defensively with another stop. And let's face it, this secondary, they've gone unchallenged so far in the first half. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts taking it in from four yards out. And the Eagles are an extra point away from drawing level. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. <laughs> Davis from the top row. <laughs> I like it. And he'll get in, and they take an 8-7 lead. Well, they got down 7-zip. They said, we'll go for two, one-up you, and they take the lead. How about that for a little risk-reward, right? If you don't get it, you're only down a point. Let's go ahead and make a statement in this ball game, and that's exactly what they did. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Now, this is going to be returned from the back line of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the side looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage. But instead, he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw right into it for an interception. But first down, Hurts. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. To throw again on second down, Hurts. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Pretty lucky to get the football back. Had his target out there waving the arms, saying I'm open, but maybe you didn't see him quick enough. And I know the jokes are always about defensive backs' hands. What really actually happens, you don't get many opportunities. You get over anxious, and you start to think about taking it away and going the other way instead of focusing and catching the ball. 
And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Throwing his hurts. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Carlton Davis picks it. And the Buccaneers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. So after the INT, it's Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. To throw, it's Brady. He completes it to Julio Jones. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Brady now to throw. It's caught by Mike Evans. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Fournette, a first down carry. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, this from 46. Suckup's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've come upon halftime here, this NFC Divisional Round matchup. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, where it was the Packers who get the win at home. A 10-point victory in the end. 24-14, the final. Meanwhile, in our game, we're set up for a terrific second half. So to find out who will advance to the NFC title game, let's send it back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. trip to the NFC title game hanging in the ballot. Second half action back underway. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Brady and the Bucks now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And he'll begin with a give to Fournette to start the drive. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. past the 30 to the 32. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. On the draw, this is Fournette. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Brady now on first down. And this is caught by Evans. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. The Bucks passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. 
On first and ten, here's Brady. Man open here is Jones. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. But give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. They begin the drive with Robinson. And space opened up a bit. He's able to take this up past the 10. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Robinson with another carry and able to get it here to about the 16 yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. They'll set up to throw. In trouble here and down he goes. Back at the eight yard line. Credit the sack to Vita Vea. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage, and that time they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. Well, there were a couple of extra defensive backs in the game, so he really had nowhere to go with the football despite his search for an open receiver. He says to take off and run for it, but he comes up well short of the line to gain. And it's fielded at the 34. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. Just a net of 34 there following a punt of 44 yards. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Throwing on second and eight, Brady. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Throwing his Brady on third down. He finds his target. It's Evans. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Brady to Evans that time. First down, Tampa. They'll look to throw here. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Kaiser Wright. And the Eagles are right back in this football game. Parker, I think this will want to ride very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. From just shy of midfield, Hurts. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, 
found a way to reset the downs and advance the ball. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now back to throw. And he's brought down at the 19 after a gain of 19. First down in the red zone. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big gain. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 79 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. Sanders is into the end zone for an eagle touchdown. He has been an integral part of the offense all season, and now in the playoffs, he's carrying it over. Had the touchdown last week of the wild card game. Now his second TD of the playoffs. Showing some consistency, and that's something that we have to keep in mind about the playoffs because we often think you have to be spectacular in order to win. I think consistent is what you're looking for. That can get you to the finish line. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good, and the lead moves to 15-10. So that drive spanned five plays, and it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. A few better down a score in the fourth quarter than Tom Brady. This is first and ten. Brady's throw there, incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Ten yards there and a Buccaneer first down. He used to work relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. And now he'll let this one go deep, back over the middle. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now Brady. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Now Brady got to have this one. He'll buy some time right. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. A new lease on life after the fourth down conversion. Here's first and ten. A shotgun give to Fournette. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25.
They get the guard out of Georgia Tech, Shaq Mason. Brady to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Fletcher Cox in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. On oh, a bad time late for a poor throw. It's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Well, CD, that's a huge play by this defense at a close ball game. I think he was trying to just extend the play there, getting outside the pocket, but he throws a costly pick six. Yeah, he's trying to find someone open. You're exactly right. He wasn't looking to run. He was looking to throw. The result, not good for him. They were more than happy on the defensive side to gather that one in and take it to the house. They'll let Robinson try and run. And they are three for three on two-point conversions as he is into the end zone for the score. And they turn the pick six into a pick eight with that two-point conversion. I love how you upsell. That is outstanding right there. What a big-time play. Big switch in how this game was going. And then they capitalize a little bit on top. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked up by Kaiser Wright. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. For this defense, CD, that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there? You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football, and look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. Here's Robinson again on second down. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Nine yards the pick up there, and it's a first down. And the Eagles season will continue at least one more week. Thanks for watching, and so long, everybody. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we bid you good night from Tampa.